There is a new HTML conversion visual available in Power BI. In this video, I'll walk you through how to get it, how to use it, its up and its downs, and what is different compared to the previous HTML viewer visual that isn't available in the store anymore. So stick around and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that like button if you like the video. It helps the channel a lot as well as motivating me for creating more content. So here we have a simple list in a SharePoint environment. And you might be familiar with the rich text problem in Power BI. If you build uh, lists like these where a PM needs to clarify uh, parts of his schedule. For instance, in the situation of a monthly report on that project that he's doing. Now, it doesn't really matter where this data comes from. Is it a SharePoint list or is it a project custom field? Suffice to say that if it is a rich text that is being imported into Power BI, it will show up natively as the HTML code instead of the actual text formatted as you wanted to have it. So let's see that in action where I have a Power BI report here that is connected to this list and uh, let's create a simple table where we have the title of the list and we have that uh, plain text which shows up very nicely just as you would expect however this is plain text and it shows up just like you want it but it is plain so it, it ha doesn't have that rich formatting such as bold text or italic or underlined and then we have that rich text. And remember how that looked on the SharePoint list. There's a uh, record that has a list in it. And there is a record that has all these uh, form formats that you uh, want to service in the Power BI report as well. So looking at that in uh, Power BI without doing anything uh, specifically uh, will show up as the full HTML format. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't find this particularly readable. And there are and there are templates to convert this into a plain text again. Um, but I don't want the plain text. I want that rich text. And uh, previously, we would resolve this by activating the HTML viewer visual. But that was pulled from the App Store a couple of months back. So we don't have that option anymore. And until we have a rich text formatting natively in Power BI, we are stuck with a new custom visual that I would like to show you here. And by the way, there is a Power BI idea that I would like your vote on uh, to actually include rich text formatting natively in Power BI. Now, in case you don't have the visual yet in your Power BI desktop, it is very easy to get it. It's called the HTML content visual, and you can click on the three dots here or the ellipsis and get more visuals. And this will load the Power BI visuals screen, and you can find the visual quite easily by clicking on HTML then pressing the search and here is the HTML content and once you click on add here it will show up in your custom visuals section now because I already have it I won't uh, click on add again I also included the old HTML viewer now this isn't available anymore from the app source but you can still download old Power BI visuals if you want. Uh, be aware though that they're not supported anymore within Power BI itself so Power BI doesn't check if they are actually secure. So for the HTML uh, visualization I would go for the new HTML content. So let's see what this actually does. Just like the previous visual it doesn't uh, uh, allow you to create tables. So I'm just going to add a slicer and I'm going to add the title to that slicer. And that will make it easy for me to switch between the different records that we have. So let's click on the HTML content, 
immediately from the start you can see that there is some additional information here it's the version 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.01 and there's some more information here and you can even click on this question mark here to go to the actual github page that has more information all right so let's click on the multiple uh, line text and let's add that rich text here in values now there's also a granularity option here and i don't know what to do with that personally so i won't uh, try that out but right from the start you can see that the visual actually surfaces the correct html formatting and we can even go to the second record and see the list and we go to the first record and see the color coding and the uh, bold text and we can see the underlining so this new visual first got to my attention thanks to paul Maller. so paul thank you if you're watching this um and this has been a labor of love uh, created by uh, daniel marsh patrick so daniel you did an excellent job of creating this visual um so let's um, do a bit of a deep dive and look at the big plus sides for this visual and compare it to the other one i have a second tab open here html visuals and here you can see the original html viewer and the html content so these two are a bit different this one isn't available in the app source anymore and this one is the spiritual successor you could say now from this page it is very easy to see what the difference is between those two html viewers the left side the original html viewer had the option to show the bullets as they are within the original source and the new content uh, html visual doesn't show those bullets other than that a big plus side on the new html content is that you have more options in the format section of the visual you have the option to for instance show the raw html values and you can click on allow open of urls now by default custom visuals don't allow you to use html links um, with this option you get the option to actually include an html uh, link to another page or something else and you will be prompted to open up a url so you won't be pushed into that url directly um, but this is a nice addition to the original html viewer two downsides and one i already mentioned where the bullets don't show up as bullets like the previous version uh, one of the other downsides is just like the previous visual this is a this isn't a certified visual which basically means that when you create a pdf extract of this report it will not show up there's more to certified visuals but for the the normal user this is the thing that will show up immediately i have an example here where i have power bi uh, report published to my workspace and from my workspace I can click on export and I can make a PDF out of it or print it to actual paper or make a PowerPoint from it and what I've done I created a PDF file and from this visual you can see that it doesn't support the exporting uh, both versions didn't do that and if I navigate further down the line, I actually have a custom visual that is a certified. This is the word cloud uh, custom visual, and it is a certified visual. That means that it will show up in prints. But other than that, it is actually a very nice little visual that does what it needs to do. And as a one man creation, I want to thank daniel again for putting in all the work and you might also enjoy my other explorations of power bi uh, or if you're more into microsoft teams nowadays you might like to connect microsoft teams with project online for instance in any case i hope you will subscribe to the channel and like the video and i'll be back in two weeks thanks for watching